Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is a Timeless Soulmate Energy Check-In. We are going to be taking a look today for uh, your energy, your person's energy that you're interested in, okay? This is for all signs, okay? It's for who finds it, finds it, right? If the signs become relevant, I'll let you guys know, but it's not for any particular zodiac, okay? I did just do monthly readings for all you guys, so feel free to check out the playlist. You can find them there, okay? Last week's update ended up being a twin flame update, so you can check that out as well okay don't forget to like the video if it resonates comment down below let me know give feedback show me love it helps my channel it helps my channel grow it helps other people find the message okay so with that said let's start off here okay we're starting off with some oracle cards we have garden something lovely will grow from this i love the imagery on this okay it's all about nurturing okay for the Divine Feminine Oracles, we have the Goddess of Magic. Sexual energy is sacred. My pleasure is a prayer that brings me back to life. And the Romance Angel Oracle, we have Release Your Ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Along with Heart to Heart Conversations, honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Okay? So let's pull some energy for you, okay? And then we will pull some energy for your person, all right? The King of Wands in the reverse just popped out here, okay? So this is definitely about us releasing something that we were deeply attached to, right? Conditional love, okay? Something that was maybe instant gratification, okay? Maybe it was a hot fling, right? Maybe sexual energy, okay? impacted some connection okay you could have had rose colored glasses on right you could have been really sure in the past that this was your person okay um the king of wands when he's in reverse this is like an impulsive impatient energy right like i want what's mine now right um very unbalanced in the emotions okay so this is what i'm seeing for you guys tell me more please A lot of you may be feeling frustrated if you're trying to date, right? Like you can't meet someone that's satisfying, fulfills all your needs, okay? The nine of cups in the reverse. Yeah, like you're not willing to like commit to anything here. Nothing feels like um, worthy of, of investing in, so to speak, okay? Or again, you only want something if it's like your way or you feel like you're dealing with a person that's like this, okay? Um, we have fire and water showing up so far, which is interesting, right? Very uh, conflicting polar opposites. But this is somebody that's refusing an opportunity. It's like, I feel like there's an opportunity to grow here of something that could be like really, I don't know, like, good for us, abundant for us, something we could really be um, fulfilled with, attracted to, but we're not seeing it. Yeah, we're not seeing it. We just don't feel like there's a whole lot of options in love. Look at this. We want to transition. We want to transform. We want a new chapter, okay? Some of you may be wanting to travel, okay? This could just be talk to someone else, communicate with someone else, right? A new energy. But here's the thing. A lot of you are focusing on what's the lack, right? And that might be the block, okay? But, ooh. Yeah, six of swords. We're ready to move on find something new. For some of us, that may mean like, I mean, it can mean a lot of things, right? It can mean anything from like trying a different dating app to like moving somewhere else, like actually moving. Death in reverse. Mm. There's some resistance to change, okay? I feel like we're running from something. It's like we didn't get what we want in the past. We may have got burnt in the past, felt like the rug was pulled out from underneath us in the past, right? Like no matter what we did, we could not find what we were looking for or feel satisfied, right? It's like this insatiable energy, okay? But this is running. 
I mean, yeah, of course, like if you're not happy, keep going, right? Keep moving, keep growing, keep looking for it. But mm -mm. this is you running and taking the issue with you, taking the broken foundation with you. I'm going to check in and see if there's any. Yeah, you just like aren't into anything or anyone right now, right? Nothing long term anyway. It could be a lot of sexual energy, but mm. okay, I'm gonna come back and clarify your energy. I need to. <laughs> okay, I'm being told I need to, but I want to check in with if if there's any like energy surrounding you, anything long term worthy. Because the death is here in the reverse for a reason. So tell me what's surrounding, please. The hangman in the reverse. You could be dealing with a Pisces, have a Pisces on your mind, or this is just an energy of you might not want to run away from this yet. You may need a new perspective on the situation. Okay? We have the seven of pentacles in the reverse. Now, this could also be the energy of a person you're dealing with that is choosing to walk away. No longer consider how to work this out. Tell me more, please. Yeah, Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. It could have just been like um, somebody you were casually dating. Okay, the Knight of Wands. Oy. It's like a, reminds me of like a frat boy. Like that's the energy of the Knight of Wands. Five of Pentacles in the reverse. Somebody here was feeling left out in the cold. There was a separation that took place here. That's why we're wanting to move on. The world at the bottom of the deck, okay? A cycle was complete. There was a breakage here, okay? Whether this was a long-term relationship or something that was short-lived, okay? So this makes sense. Look at these oracles that you guys got. Can we just remind ourselves here, okay? Something will grow from this, okay? Sexual energy is sacred. My pleasure is a prayer that brings me back to life, right? Release your ex and heart-to-heart -heart conversations. That's so interesting. Something does need to be discussed here, I guarantee you, with the death in the reverse. Let's go into it, shall we? <laughs> Let's go deep. That's what we do on this channel. We get to the root. It's my faves. Mm, there was definitely a breakup or something with the world here. Some of you may be at a distance from each other as well. The Knight of Coins. This was about stability, possibly an offer of commitment, right? Kind of like identify, like, hey, what are we? Like, that's what I'm getting from that. Making it an official energy. Ten of Coins in the reverse. Page of Cups in the reverse. Mm -mm. Somebody didn't want to offer commitment. They didn't see longevity. They didn't see potential. They weren't willing to offer their heart. At the same time, somebody here that's watching, this is our energy, okay, still does see the potential for commitment, even though it's not being offered. There's something here. That's why the death is in the reverse. That makes sense why the first card out that flew out was the king of wands in the reverse. It's We didn't want to let this go right but we didn't make an offer okay your person tell me about the hangman in the reverse what is this what is this three of wands in the reverse somebody here didn't want to wait it was very much like now or never The Magician and the Nine of Cups in the reverse, which was energy over here, okay? They were trying to manifest mm. It's really interesting because this is saying that somebody created the break. Like this was self-made, this was self-destruction here. That's the new perspective, okay? Hmm, let's pull some more energy, shall we? 
Tell me more. What else do I need to know about this spirit? <laughs> the magician in the reverse. That's crazy. That's crazy. So you guys feel like you have no control here. There was nothing you could do. It could have been over before it started. Is kind of how it's coming through. A lot of unhappiness about that. Leo energy. Tell me more about this powerless feeling here. Somebody didn't communicate about wanting to make some type of decision. Look at this. The hangman in the reverse. The Hierophant in the reverse. The Seven of Swords. Somebody was trying to get away with not having to address the energy of commitment, the topic of commitment, having to commit to commitment, okay? Um, somebody, like this could be like somebody wanting to get engaged, right? And somebody wasn't ready or someone wanted to put a label on the relationship and they weren't ready. Whatever this is, it was such a rejection. Not yet, not yet, not yet. I want to do it my way. With that king of wands and the nine of cups in the reverse that came out, okay? But it's a, this is craziness. It's like this person could have given you like an ultimatum and that was the turn off, right? And there's some like regret about that because it's like, dang, like I didn't like, why does it have to be so black and white like that? Why can't we take time? I don't think that you guys, and it is coming in as your side, but I mean, switch the energies, take it how it resonates, okay? But somebody here was considering offering commitment but they weren't sharing that okay and it's like this person that you're dealing with this energy that you're dealing with it comes in like they gave an ultimatum and because of that like it was an automatic no like that's not how you like start a foundation with somebody you know but they were like I'm not waiting yes or no and you were like well then no like I'm not ready I'm still feeling this out. The Knight of Pentacles is like the slowest moving energy in tarot, but it's because he takes his time. What he's building is solid. It's not going to crack, right? This isn't going to turn into a reading where I'm like, oh, the foundation was broken, right? Hmm. But this person's fear, okay, was literally about being left out in the cold, right? Hmm. Okay, let's pull some more energy for your person. Well, yeah, and then I'll clarify because there's a lot going on. Tell me more about what was going on with this person. It comes in as just like an ultimatum. Are we doing this or not? Are we going to grow together? Are we going to plan a future together? What does our future look like? Three of Swords. A lot of pain, a lot of heartbreak. Two of Cups in the reverse. And the Magician. Uh, okay, so the Magician has come out in every deck that I have for this reading right now. What the hell? You know what that's telling me? This was all, like, self-made. You know what I mean? Like, chaos that was, like, caused by, like, fears and overthinking, right? It's a separation. It's pain. It's hurt. What the hell happened? This person like lost their mind. <laughs> but it's very sweet. It's out of passion. Okay. Been there. <laughs> I'm on this side. <laughs> Trust me. Oh my goodness. All right. Tell me more. Let's clarify this magician. What's this now? Look, so last time I clarified, we got the three of wands on the reverse. Now we have the two of wands on the reverse. This person was not willing to look at it from a different way to plan. Like, they're like, no, no, no. 
we're not taking any more time to like see how this goes like we're doing it now like what are we doing i need an answer i need to know what i'm doing with my life i don't want to wait anymore this person could have waited for a while it's interesting because when i shuffled it flipped this to turn over okay strength in the reverse just popped out luckily for you literally yesterday check the timeless playlist i'll try to be mindful to link it below i just did a video on this okay for those of you that are doing shadow work for those of you that receive this in the reading a lot for those of you that want to understand this person okay it's all about dealing with triggers okay and i don't mean like mainstream like i'm triggered i mean genuine triggers raw emotion okay pain sadness guilt even deeper than that shame okay this person manifested their worst fear the world of the reverse an ending now there's a lot of heartbreak now there's separation tell me okay six of cups just shot out on the side there's a soul connection here absolutely right i'm sure you could sense that with this knight of pentacles energy I feel like I could build something here. I feel like I want to invest in this, right? There was no offer me though. That's the problem. Okay. Justice. Libra energy. somebody wanted a decision that's what it came down I'm telling you it was a let me know okay if you guys were given an ultimatum if you gave someone an ultimatum because you didn't want to wait anymore and I'm not trying to knock whoever that was right like I don't know time periods maybe that's somebody who waited two years okay I don't know it came in as night of wands energy but that doesn't mean um this hasn't been somebody that has been waiting I don't know the high priestess is at the bottom of the deck here okay there's a need to go within to really lift the veil. Okay, I'm talking about like maybe even making like a pro con list here. I was trying to make this about new love. What the hell? <laughs> maybe it's about new love with this person. Okay, they're popping up for a reason as I say that. The chariot falls out here. Cancer energy about going forward. It's about an awakening for a lot of us. Okay, spiritual enlightenment. What is the advice from the divine to do with this person? Okay. Uh, that's too many. As I lift it up, though, it's the strength in the reverse with the hair print. Okay, so first of all, we need to tame our emotions. Okay, um, again, go watch that strength video. Okay, it talks about that. All right. What should our next move be for dealing with this person? Okay, Seven of Cups. You have options here, okay? You don't need to dive in. Nothing should feel urgent and make you feel panicked like you're making a decision here. It's really important that you take the time to evaluate what feels right from within. We just saw the High Priestess, okay? Knowing what to do from a soul level. Five of Cups in the reverse. We're releasing pain from the past. Okay, this might be about letting this person go, right? Looking at other options. The world in the reverse. Mm. And as I say that, right? We can't close out the cycle until we deal, okay? With the emotions, the triggers, the whatever, that came from this connection this relationship here okay does that mean that you have to reestablish a connection and have a conversation with them no not at all okay but you need to understand that you do have options on how to move forward on how to heal on what to do okay because a lot of you feel like this magician in the reverse you're powerless there's nothing you can do there's no way that, you know, there can be commitment now, okay? Um, 
I have no choice. That's how it's coming in. Okay, but look what was on top of that. That's a lie. That's deception. Tell me about this world in the reverse, please. The star. Aquarius energy. I'm telling you, the six of cups shot out, you guys. This is a divine connection, a soulmate connection. You're drawn to it for a reason, so feel validated here, okay? Whether this is the person you've been wishing for forever, maybe, for some of you, okay? I can't give a distinct yes or no. It's going to vary, right? Book a personal. We can go deeper there. However, this can and will bring healing. Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Truth needs to be spoken. Acknowledged. Tell me more about this cycle that won't end. There's something that needs to be healed. Yeah. Oh, man. We can't go on living like this, just sweeping shit under the rug, okay? Um, it's led to a burnout. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, this is the time. I'm telling you. Seven of Cups, Seven of Pentacles. Brainstorm, okay? Think about what you're doing what you want, why this happened, right? When did the imbalance start to occur, right? Five of swords in the reverse. You need to come out of indecisiveness about what to do, okay? If you want to be done and release this person, be done and release this person, but make that choice, okay? Don't energetically still involve yourself here because it's you guys are all over each other in my reading, okay? <laughs> Tell me, what does this person want? The Ace of Wands, a new beginning. Ooh, a passionate new beginning. Temperance and the lovers in the reverse. So here's what you need to understand, be mindful of, be weary of, okay? We saw it. You guys were not comfortable fully investing something here. You were going very slow, right? That's for a reason. This person does want to rush into some type of commitment, okay? There's a need to get on the same page. There's a misalignment here. I'm also saying that this person's saying that they're willing to wait, though, with that temperance card in the reverse. They want to figure it out. Tell me about the lovers in the reverse. I did a video on that as well. Okay, you guys can find that in a timeless playlist. Two of swords in the reverse. The Three of Cups in the reverse and the Queen of Cups in the reverse. Okay. This is somebody that is using love, intimacy, sex as a comfort zone. I think you're aware of that. I think you both recognize that there is a spiritual connection. Maybe you've known each other from the past, right? Maybe this is somebody you dated 20 years ago from high school. I don't know. An old friend. Okay? Or you just feel like you've known each other, right? You've done this before. Somebody outgrew each other here. So, as <laughs> I just went to go shuffle and I landed on the devil. Yeah. This just isn't healthy anymore. And I think you know that. I think you tell yourself that you don't want to commit to this because you know, right, that nothing can come from this with the magician in the reverse. We were talking earlier how it was like you feel like you have no power. There's nothing you can create. That's not true. You do have a choice. Maybe it's about you recognizing that you're not partaking in this. If that's a pattern you've had with this person, maybe that's about what this reading is. Okay, you're finally cutting off that pattern, which is telling the divine that you're ready for more. Queen of Cups. And your person just had that in the reverse. There's the misalignment of values. You're looking for something fulfilling, something sustainable. This person's looking to not hurt. 
to be soothed. That's some heavy shit. Okay, I want advice for new love, please. That's what we were asking for. I think it's pretty clear considering we just had a 25 minute reading about you separating from somebody that healing does need to take place before you can move on. When I pulled the cards, it said, right, the world in the reverse, like something needs to be looked at. Five of cups in the reverse, okay? Seven of cups. Realizing that you do have options. You can find love again, okay? But you have to accept that this... Maybe it just wasn't meant to go the long haul or somebody's choosing, okay, to not do it the right way, whatever that means, okay? But you know from within you that it's not a fair or stable foundation, okay? Hmm. Advice, please, for healing, for finding new love, all of the above. Four of Cups. Yeah, you just need to take a time out from dating. Maybe that's what you got you in this position in the first place, right? Maybe you used to be able to relate to this person that heals through relationships, that doesn't want to hurt, so they want someone by their side. You're being told to resist any temptation as well, like, and it's coming as, like, sexual temptation. It might be from this person. Wheel of Fortune. That's when change can occur. If you take the time to take a step out, okay, and truly tell the divine, right? And if you physically disconnected from this person, okay, good. But you also have to energetically disconnect, okay? Not emotionally invest in this any longer, okay? That's when change can come. That's when the divine knows that you're truly ready, okay? Six of pentacles in the reverse when you're no longer giving. When you're no longer entertaining it. Okay? If you know something's not for you, allow that to be cut off. Right? Eight of Wands in the reverse. That's a disconnect in communication. A bump in travel. Okay? So to sum this reading up, you guys, I'm really just getting that there is some toxicity, obsession. It's coming in as sexual energy. We saw that with the Oracle cards before I even pulled Tarot. Okay? between you and someone you're dealing with. It could be a very on and off thing that you keep involving yourself in, okay? You may have been trauma bonding with this person, all right? But you're ready to step out of that and look for something that's very fulfilling. You're ready for change, but you have to show that to the divine by truly stop giving to this situation, okay? To be just very frank with some of you, that means you stop, you have to stop having sex with them, okay? You have to stop sexting, right? Whatever that means, you have to truly take that time out say you're ready for something else a different type of relationship that looks differently okay so i am going to end it there i think i hope that was helpful okay again please like comment share subscribe i love you guys i hope it was helpful and yeah have a great day